Hi, and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We are making a delicious recipe in the 9400 Optimum Blender today. This one is from Whole Foods Simply, a great site to check out, and you can look in the description below for the link there. I absolutely love it. It is a chocolatey, fudgy surprise, something similar to a rocky road, but healthy style. So what I'm gonna do in the 9400 blender, is if you have a look inside, there are six long, big blades in there. They're gonna make really short work of a heaped cup of Brazil nuts. So we're gonna fill them up into the, blend into the blender now. Okay, Brazil nuts contain selenium, which is really great for your brain, and lots of healthy fats. Um, you don't want to overeat any kinds of nuts, but certainly these ones are not bad to include in your daily eating plan. Popping the lid on the top here, we're going to use the blender, pulse a few times until we make a nice fine dust out of the Brazil nuts, and then we can easily use the 9400 to do the food processing task that's to follow. So just a few pulses and there we go, nice and dusty in the blender. I'm going to use one of the spatulas just to scrape down the sides of the 9400. There we go, to put all the ingredients back into the bottom. We're then going to add one big banana that I've peeled, uh, a cup firmly packed of dates with the pits removed, two tablespoons actually what we're going to do first, dry ingredients first. Here's a tip so that you don't have to wash up so much when you're creating recipes. Always measure your dry ingredients first and your wet ingredients second. So we're going to put three tablespoons of cacao powder in here. People ask me all the time, what's the difference between cacao and cocoa? Aren't they the same? Well, they did start out from the same place, from a cacao pod. So the beans of the cacao pod were taken out, and in the case of cacao powder, they were dried and crushed. In the case of cocoa, they were heated or dutched, and that heating process kills the antioxidants, and pure cacao powder is exceptionally high in antioxidants and very, very good for you. One of the things it contains is magnesium, which um, is something that is very good for women and explains why we crave that once a month. Here we go, two tablespoons of coconut oil plus a dash. Should be two heaped tablespoons, but it's very hard to heap a tablespoon with liquid, isn't it? I'm gonna pop that all together in the blender. Once again, putting the blender jug lid firmly and securely in place, removing the lid plug. Now this is the new soft style lid uh, for the 9400 blender, there we go. I'm gonna use the tamper from over here, insert it into the hole, make sure everything is firmly in place and that the blender is on zero at the bottom. Once you're ready, it's all turned on, then you flick it up and then turn it up to high. Blend until everything is really well combined. So I'm just going to have a quick check of this one, make sure that it is as combined as I would like it to be. You'll notice that I didn't go all the way up to high. This is a very powerful blender. So if you find that while you're blending, a pocket forms underneath the mixture that you're blending, turn the blender down slightly and then push the mixture back into the blades. So you can hear the sound change when everything's moving or if the blades are just whizzing underneath. I'm just going to have a little quick look. I think that needs just a moment or two more. I'm going to use the spatula to push these things down into the blade, just give it a little bit um, of a mix, anything that's stuck to the walls of the blender. So just like when you use a food processor, scraping the edges down as the recipes will say, this looks really great. I think I'm going to taste it. Tastes really great already. Pop the lid on. Again, going to blend just for a little bit longer. Yum. That is really good. And you can see that it's drawn all of the fudge back down in through the blade, create a little vertex on top, you can't even tip it out. That's the same look you'll get when you make things like uh, sorbets or nut butters as everything pulls through the ingredients. So what we're going to do from here is uh, tip that out into a bowl, mix some goji berry through so you've got your little crunchy bits 
just like in a rocky road. We might even sprinkle a little bit of coconut through and uh, pop them straight into our little takeaway containers or you can have a prepared cake tin. These are great if you're reusing them, not great if you're throwing them out all the time. Otherwise a square cake tin or a, uh, a loaf pan would work beautifully for this recipe. But first things first, let's mix through a couple of goji berries and a little bit of coconut. Now there is no exact measurement for the amount of goji berries that you use, about a quarter of a cup, but I'm just going to sprinkle them through here like that. I'm going to sneak off the screen for one second because I think you can't have Rocky Road without a little bit of coconut. We'll sprinkle that in as well, so just as much as you feel that you need. To finish this one off, we're going to use a small Ziploc bag over the hand because the ingredients are very, very sticky. So using the spatula, stir through the goji berries and the coconut. Once it's mixed to your liking, you can split that into two containers like I've got here and press it down quite flat. You'll see that it actually lifts away from the edge of the bowl very easily. Now this recipe is beautiful. doesn't have to be exactly even and I particularly love this recipe because the goji berries are going to give it a nice little chewy zing every now and then and as I may have mentioned in a previous video, goji berries are a great source of uh, vitamin C for the body so they're really good for uh, boosting your immune system. Just using that uh, plastic bag to stop your fingers getting too sticky, push everything roughly into the pan. Once it's all pushed into the pan, again go with the rustic look there, just get it around the bottom because later on you're going to pull it out of the freezer and chop it into beautiful pieces. So let me quickly do that for you and we'll show you the finished product in just a minute. So here we go, we've finished pressing the fudge mixture, fudgy, fudgy, fudgy chocolate mixture into the bottom of the little plastic containers. I've topped it off with a little bit of coconut and pressed that in just gently so it sits and sets in the top of them. These both can go in the fridge or freezer 10 to 15 minutes and they'll be completely set. You can pull them out by lifting the glad wrap up out of the containers and laying them flat, chopping them into squares and serving them. So this is a really delicious recipe. The Optimum 9400 is great for using in food processing tasks, blending tasks, it can do anything from a green smoothie to a nut butter to a nut milk to a hot soup and a frozen sorbet, anything at all will happen in there. It's a really simple, easy to use blender. So if you'd like to get your own, you can pop down to the descriptions below and you'll see the Fruity website closest to you for the optimum range of blenders. And if you like this video, don't forget to like the Fruity TV channel. Ciao for now.